put our metal where our mouth is, we need to test how each of the Mark III's weapons perform against a giant robot. So we've built our own giant robot. Meet Kuratos. Let's do this. This is not a real giant robot. Kuratos is a completely fake giant robot. Do not try this at home. Sudabashi Heavy Industries is in no way affiliated with the making of this giant robot. Seriously, don't try this at home. It's super dangerous. Some assembly required terms and conditions may apply. Like the first monkey shot into space. All right, Rob, stab this thing right in the center. Big spoon, fire it up. <laughs> big spoon ready. Go for it, big spoon. All right, bets on what's going to happen. Uh, my bet is actually very little. So it looks like the chainsaw beat on the front panel of the cockpit. Didn't tear through it too much. Yeah, it didn't actually cut anything, it just beat its way through. Proceed with the attack. Give him hell, Rob. I gotta get the speed of traction out of the way first. There used to be a carbide tooth here. <laughs> it ripped off a carbide? Oh yeah, there's like four or five teeth gone. Missing teeth. We can call this one the dentist. <laughs> All right, Rob, go for crushing. We call this the big spoon bear hug. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. It's just knocking on the shell of the robot. Gee, I don't think this is gonna do much. You want me to try the arm now? Yeah, let's go for the arm. Oh yeah, this should be good. any of that to happen, but that's pretty cool. All right, Keith, Matt, what do you want me to do on this one? All right, uh, Rob, for this one, we want you to try to grab the side of the cockpit, just up that edge of the cockpit, shear it all to hell. I think it's gonna do anything? Uh, I think it'll deform, but it won't cut through. Oh, that sounded like it cut. <laughs> that, oh, God. That definitely oh, cut that's... straight through. <laughs> wow. OK, Rob, uh, for this next test, let's try going for the hydraulics now. I can't see very well with this thing up, so you're going to have to guide me a little bit. I think you want to point this shear downward at like a 45 degree angle. But you're going <laughs> to. Oh, God. You're going to want to back up. We dented it up quite a bit. That's more damage than I thought it would do. All right, Rob, we have no idea what that drill's gonna do, but let's aim for a knee joint and see what happens. Roger. Here we go.
Bob, you turned that thing into a crumpled heap of scrap metal. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. How's it feel? I feel like an American. A true <laughs> patriot. <laughs> We're definitely standing in front of giant robot carcass. How do you think the weapons did? I thought the chainsaw was awesome, looked super cool. I think it needs different teeth to cut hoses and wires and stuff like that. You probably just can't stab with it, but I think it has a lot of potential. For sure, the stump grinder was probably my favorite. That so thing cool. spun up, and whenever it connected, it just sent pieces flying. It was awesome. I think the, uh, the grapples, we need to like sharpen those teeth so they can crush better, but I think once we do that, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it could be pretty tactical. The shear, however, was slow, it was boring, it was hard to get into place. I didn't like it. I think we should just throw it out right now. Yeah, I'm good with that. I think the drill auger had potential. Didn't do too much damage right now, but I think we just need a slightly different bit. Once we do that, I think it could be awesome. Yeah, for sure. This is just the beginning. Weapons are super crucial for this. We got a lot of work ahead of us. We should get started. Let's keep moving. Cool.